Hey there everybody, in this uh, video I want to introduce you to something called Google Fonts. Now you are currently working on, um, in this example, you're working on uh, project 3 here and you're looking at setting font sizes and choosing font families. Now in this you are choosing uh, uh, different font families and defining them in your CSS. Now there's something else that you can do that goes along with this because what happens is if you're unhappy with the the the, the list of options that you have uh, in our sans serif and serif fonts and if you want to look for something that is a little has a little bit more to it one thing you can do is look at Google Fonts. Now what Google Fonts does is it actually makes a connection to uh, your web page and it allows you to have uh, access to a much broader uh, variety of type. Now remember um, uh, what you're going to be doing is uh, you're going to actually be going to, to Google Fonts. Once you decide that you're looking for something different, something sp specific, special, maybe something that has a little bit a better look to it, maybe something a little thinner versus something a little thicker, because what you want is contrast. You want you want to keep the font in the same family, but you can have different weights and slightly different styles that can give you some variety, and but c still keep us a, a nice look. <clears throat> Over here in this document, I have an HTML5 document, and I have the basic elements laid out. This is just a very rough, uh, very simple uh, layout of, 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 of the HTML. Uh, I'm using a Crimson editor, which is just a text document, uh, a text editor. Uh, of, I'm using the syntax type HTML. And I'm also going to open up my CSS associated with this. Um, and so, uh, if I open this up, uh, I get I get these things. So I have my uh, CSS one, and then I have CSS one here. So I have a, a linked style sheet. Now this is very important. I mean, I'm obviously using very minimal things for this example, but one of the things I want you to see is that uh, uh, you can quickly add different types of type uh, faces to your uh, to your to your uh, uh, web page, so if I was to go to my uh, my folder here, I'm making sure that I am in the right folder, and uh, and that if I uh, was to look at this, I can take my file and I can open it up with uh, Google Chrome or something, and this is pretty generic. It looks something like this. Uh, there's nothing super fancy or nice about this, and there's not supposed to be, because all I really want you to do is just see uh, the different elements. Now, one of the things that I've done is I've went online and gotten some what's called uh, this is just Latin uh, text, and it's uh, called lorem ipsum. Lorem ipsum is a dummy text that allows you to uh, create um, uh, blocks of text that people won't actually read and, and it'll be something more where you can look at the typography and you can look at the way the actual type uh, relates to one another without actually reading it because we don't really want to read it right now we just want to see how it looks and how the type fits together with each other uh, and so what you can do is you can copy blocks of, of type like uh, like here is a block of of Latin, or you can go to something called, you know, a Latin text generator, uh, or something like that. But you do want to be careful that you're not getting something that someone might actually, you know, it might be something that you don't know what it says, but it may actually be saying something bad. So you want to make sure that you're using some standard, you know, stuff that's been handed down through time. Uh, and um, anyway, uh, it's just for test purposes anyway. So no one's gonna, you're probably not gonna translate it. So. Um, so uh, going back to this, so if you are, I'm going to maximize this for a second. So if you are looking for different types of typefaces, um, something that might provide uh, you uh, maybe if you wanted uh, uh, if you wanted serif, 
Uh, again, Seref has the little marks on the ends, the serifs. Uh, if you were looking for a specific kind or specific type, you can go through here and you can look and find a style that works for you. Um, depending on what it is that you're wanting. Maybe you want to use uh, a, a, a thin type. So if I was interested in something like this, I could, let's say I want to use this, it's called a normal uh, 400, or maybe we go down and look for other things. And it doesn't really matter. Let's say we want to use, uh, we want to use uh, this Neutron. Um, and so I'm going to go here, and this says a quick use. Uh, this is uh, this, the the I'm using Neutron and the normal 400. So look what you have you have you choose the style that you want. Okay, we want to I want to use the 400 and maybe I want to use an extra light version too. Okay, then it goes down here and it gives me choose the character sets that you want. I want uh, I want uh, this. Uh, so do you, you're really just going to follow the instructions. The instructions might be a little different add this code to your website. Now look over here. Embed your collection into your web page. Copy the code as the first element in the head of your HTML document. Okay, so I've got this. There's a link. Fonts, it says Google's. And then it says there's the name Newton, Newton 200, 400. And I'm going to take this. I'm going to copy it. Control C. I'm going to go to my text editor. Go to my HTML file. And as the first element, I'm going to put it right there. Not in my CSS, but in, in my HTML. I'm going to say save. Okay, now I'll go back to this and integrate the fonts into your CSS. So the Google Fonts API will generate the necessary browser-specific CSS to use the fonts. All you need to do is add the font name to your CSS style sheet. For example, font neutron, Newton Serif. So Notice that if you want to have your header or your H1 with the font family, uh, here would be the name and the uh, weight. So let's say we take this, control copy, I go to my text editor, go to my CSS sheet, and let's say I want to use this for uh, the header region, the text in the header region. All right, well, no, the header H1. So let's say I want to use it for this. I'm going to go copy, and I'm going to do this. Now, uh, let's just see what happens. Control, save. Okay, I haven't done anything except copy uh, that one particular thing. Um, let's see, I have a uh, title goes here. I'm going to refresh my page. There, it changed. So it changed that to use it. Okay, now, let's say I want to put something, uh, let's say I want to uh, adjust the size and let's see what we can do. So I'll go back. I'm going to minimize this to the side since I'm working with that now. Now if I go back to my header, uh, my H1 here, and I can change the, let's say, font size. And I'm going to choose, uh, I'll say, just so we can see something crazy. Let's say save. I'll hit there. So now I can see it. That's a 5M, uh, really large. Okay, well, that's it's pretty darn big. I don't think I need it that big, but you can see how easy uh, it is to just make a changes and adjustment, hit refresh. There's my header. Now, I'm going to use this other size. I'm going to say font family. I'm going to change that to, let's say, my section here. I'm going to change it. I'm going to copy this, copy, and I'm going to go down to section and I'm going to add that. Here, um, notice that I'm using alphabetical order, background, color, font family, font size, um, uh, and I'm going to say my font weight is uh, 200. I'm going to hit save. I'm going to go back and say F1. And here we go. Notice that I have now added the different text here. Now, I will probably want to not have that, maybe a 0.75M, save, refresh. Okay, that's really small, so maybe one. Oops, I don't want to do that. Backspace, 
backspace. Control save is what I meant to do. Refresh. I'm hitting F8. So there we go. So I'm I'm using a different type. And uh, maybe I want to try something completely different. Maybe something thin, but maybe a, a sans serif. So I'm going to go back. To, oops, I need to go back to my Google uh, fonts, and I'm going to go back to uh, I'm going to go back to my selection here, and say instead of serif, I'm going to say sans serif, and I'm going to choose something kind of thin like this. This open sans con condensed, and. Uh, uh, sometimes things can take a while to load so you want to be be sure uh, I'm gonna go with the light 300 and uh, I'm gonna choose Latin and I'm gonna add this to my web page here one thing I could do is hit control a and select it and hit control C to copy it now remember this goes up in the head region so I'm gonna be in my HTML Go into my head, so I already have one there. I'll add my next one here. Uh, then I need to go into my CSS. I'll go grab that. I don't need this up anymore. And I'll go to uh, my CSS, which is here. And this is what I want to use. Control C, so Control Copy. I'm going to save this one. Go to CSS. Now I want to use this for my section. And so I have font family. Uh, I'm going to change that one and I'm going to put this here. Uh, I'm going to use that and I think the weight of this was 300 so I'm going to change this to 300 and I'm going to hit control save and save it. I'll go back to my uh, page here and hit control oh no hit F5 and now I have that type right there okay so that's the basic idea of using uh, of using this so if I wanted to change this to white I can go FFF and hit control save refresh now I have white uh, if I wanted to choose a different color obviously I could go remember we're using we'll use our uh, our different uh, uh, our different tools for that um, let me see if this has a color picker. I don't know if it does. It doesn't. So if I wanted to choose different text or, or different colors, I could. So that's using Google Fonts to choose different uh, fonts. Now there are other things that you can do. There are other types of fonts that you might want to use. And there's different thicknesses and handwriting. and uh, there's all kinds of uh, like if you wanted something to be handwritten you could choose that but you have to be very careful how you use these things you want things to be read uh, to be read very easily and things to be very uh, 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 very clean and interesting so uh, use your typography uh, knowledge you have to choose the, cor the correct family you have to choose for readability. You have to adjust for line spacing and word, the spacing in between the letters. All of that matters when you are creating a readable and uh, attractive uh, web page or design. Uh, so have some fun experimenting with this and uh, put it to use in your web pages.